And we welcome you into RadfordAthletics.com. It's a very special day here at Radford University in our athletic department as we welcome our new head baseball coach, the sixth coach all time here at Radford University, Carl Kuhn. Coach, how are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm good, Rick. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Well, let's talk about your interest in Radford University. I know it's a program. You guys have played Radford head-to-head -head for a number of years, but now your first head coaching venture here at Radford. Talk about why the Highlanders were the right choice for you. Well, first, um, it starts with Robert and uh, our athletic director here. His vision was clear. Um, his pursuit was consistent. Um, I enjoyed getting to know him. And the topper for me was Dr. Hemphill. Um, what an unbelievable charismatic leader we have here at Radford. And I couldn't be happier to be working with both of those gentlemen. Uh, Robert, in the, in the entire process, his, his, his vision and his love for Radford and Radford Athletics and his coaches were just contagious. And I think whenever you're going to leave a great place, you want to go to a great place and you want to feel wanted and needed. And both those gentlemen went above the moon for me for that. Let's talk about your relationship with Coach O'Connor. And you talk about the triumvirate that you have down there with yourself and Kevin McMullen. I think the longest tenured lead coaching staff in the country. And now, of course, you're breaking that up. Talk about that relationship. You've been there since 2003 and how special that unity was amongst the coaches. Yeah, Rick, I appreciate you bringing up that I'm the one that broke that trio. <laughs> no <up>. problem. <laughs> um, it was a special time. Yeah. Um, and as we go down this road and embark at Radford, um, there had to be, we all knew there had to be something special that was going to end up breaking that trio up. Um, I've been with those two gentlemen a year longer than I've been with my wife. <laughs> and it was such an unbelievable time. And I'm trying to do my best to not cry because I'm leaving, but smile because I was there. And I could not be more grateful for the leadership from Brian, the friendship from Brian, and being in a foxhole with Kevin McMullen for 16 years, um, times that I will cherish for the rest of my life. What can you bring now to Radford? Well, first of all, is there a certain type of player that you like that you want to recruit here to play for you at Radford University? What kind of personality, yeah. what kind of characteristics are you looking for from your student athletes? Yeah, the first one is I want people that want to be here. I don't want to have to trick somebody. I don't want to have to uh, tell somebody something that's not true. Um, and I don't want them to want to be somewhere else. Uh, we want people that want to be with our coaches. That's going to start with relationships, right. right? You could potentially knock on a door and say, hey, we're Virginia, and people would want you for your name. We're back to the ground roots where you have to sell your soul and you've got to sell your vision and you've got to sell the person you are. And we're not afraid to do that. Um, people make the house a home, and this is going to be our new home. We're going to make this baseball field our new home, and we're going to make these, these young men our new children. Um, I'm coming into their home, so I'm going to make myself welcome. This is their place. I'm just the, 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 the gentleman that was tabbed to make sure that it runs the right way, but this is their, this is their place. And I know that, and I'm very, very appreciative of the opportunity to, to lead this program from this point forward. You mentioned the decision to finally leave and be a head coach here at Radford. You talk about the relationship with Coach O'Connor and your wife. Can you talk about how each of those individuals played to help your decision to come here? Well, I think anytime you make a big decision, a life decision, you want to rely on the people that you feel love you and, trust, and, and you trust um, because you feel they're not going to lead you down the wrong road. So the confidence that I had in listening to Coach O'Connor's um, insight and, you know, my wife assuring me that, you know, we can do anything, right? Our family is strong. Um, the bond we have is strong. And we could be planted on the moon and we're going to make it as a family um, was everything to me. Um, I'll, I'll say this again. I am a baseball coach. I coach baseball but it doesn't define who I am. I'm a father and a husband first, and to rely on the friendships and the over 250 text messages that I have <laughs> to date from yesterday, wishing me and my family good luck means everything, and I think there's strength in numbers, and 250 people so far telling me good luck, I feel very fortunate. 
That's the one thing very special about baseball, no matter what level you're talking about. It's those relationships you create over the years, and they stay with you no matter where you end up or how, wherever you might retire. You know, Rick, you're absolutely right. Um, it's, an, it's a fraternity like no other. You know, fraternity brothers, they all really kind of just want to hang out at the house and party and then, <laughs> right, and, and work for the weekend. Well, our fraternity wants to beat each other's brains in and then say good luck after we're done. Um, so these are peers, these are great friends and guys that we've competed against and I've competed against and just to, the fact that they've reached out and, and said good luck, you know, after we all try to beat each other up is, it just means the world, it really does. And I'm, I'm very, very blessed and fortunate to, to have such a network. Well, you're a terrific all-around baseball coach, but obviously down in Charlottesville, you uh, specialize in pitching and you talk about specializing. I think. Uh, over your tenure, a 3.3 ERA, that was the average over the 16 years. And you talk about the kind of kid. First of all, what makes a good pitcher in your mind? What kind of ingredients need to come together when you recruit a kid or when a guy arrives on campus and say, okay, we're going to bring out the best that you can be and make sure you're the best pitcher you can be? Well, the first thing, I mean, the stuff is easy. The athletic ability anybody can see. Um, you, you don't need to have great baseball intellect to see that this kid is good. But the intangibles, what's in his mind, what he's thinking, and what's in his heart, the first thing I would say is toughness. Um, baseball is life. There's a lot of ups and downs in life. Yeah. There's a lot of ups and downs on the baseball field. You have to have immediate short memory. It's a quick divorce. It's like a defensive back <laughs> that just got burned for a touchdown and knocks, out a ten, knocks down a 10 yard out. He shakes and shimmies because he's done something. He's got a short memory. You have to have a very short memory on the baseball field. But our guys were tough. Um, clear communication of what's expected. Um, these guys are going to know what's expected of them every day. They're going to know that our coaches are going to be on time. We're going to be out here ready to work. And they're going to be accountable for their piece. I'm going to hope very, very hard that they do not confuse correction with criticism. Because if you don't love somebody, you won't correct right. them. Right. If you do love them, you will correct them. Let's talk about you know, Radford and Virginia has had a terrific relationship over the years, playing one another, I think, annually, at least once, maybe sometimes two times a year. Did you ever sit back and watch a Radford team and think that was the kind of team you like to play? What attracted you when you watched Radford play baseball? Yeah, the there's a team I didn't want to play. <laughs> uh, that's a better compliment, right? I mean, I think it was 2015 when, when you know, you guys uh, put it all together right. and, and you end up in the regional. and. You know, 14 was our, our magic year when we were number one in the country wire to wire. Um, and lo and behold, 15, we're going through all of these, you know, inner injuries in our team. And, and, and luckily, to be completely honest, I want to say that our game with Radford got rained out. <laughs> um, but that was a magical year for Radford. And it was, uh, it was special to watch because as a, as a coach in the Commonwealth, you root for the Commonwealth right. in the postseason. You root at Virginia, you root for VCU, right? You root for Radford in the, in the postseason. It's just the bond that we all have as coaches. And um, it was special to watch from the side, I can tell you that. Well, finally, Coach, let me ask you now, obviously championships were the norm down in Charlottesville. There's been one in this league as well. You know, another school did it a couple years ago. You can foresee that, I know, winning the Big South. What are your ultimate goals, first of all, other than implementing your program and getting started here head first? Well, that's number one. I think, first off, we got to take name tags off with our players, right? They need to get to know me. They need to get to know how we operate. Um, they need to get to know the expectations of, of where we go from here. Um, we, need to, we need to embrace change. Change is good. I'm here. This is a change. It's a big change, right? So change is good. Um, change gives us all a breath of fresh air. And I'm looking forward to instilling that change. The Big South is a, is a tremendous league. There are great coaches in this league. Um, most of them I know personally, and they're tremendous colleagues. I will say that when I was at Charleston Southern in my first tenure, uh, my first stop as a, as a baseball coach, we actually won the Big South mm -hmm. Championship on Radford's field. <laughs> so I've got good memories here, and I'm hoping we can repeat them. I think this time it'll be the red and white celebrating the right. championship here on the field. Well, Coach Coon, it's been great to get to meet you. Looking forward to working with you. Welcome to Radford. We're all very excited for the new era of Radford baseball here. Thanks, Rick. I couldn't be happier. Pleasure. There you go. That is Carl Coon, the new head baseball coach here at Radford University. You can follow us all season long. We'll have updates accordingly right here on RadfordAthletics.com.